Hello friends, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel Mustaq Kunnoor Academy. In this video, I will show you how to perform a simulation of a stable multi vibrator using triple pi timer. Let's look at the circuit. This circuit is consist of triple pi timer IC and two resistor and two capacitor. When we connect the triple pi timer along with this resistor and capacitor, in the output we will get square wave. In order to obtain this, we have to choose, in order to obtain the required value of square wave, we have to design the value of R1, R2 and C using the formula of T1 and T off. Let's begin its simulation. First, I have to select the component mode, click on P. First, I have to select the triple phi timer, write triple phi here. Here we can see that analog timer bar oscillator is there. Just click on double click on it. Once you double click, that is going to add in this list. We also need a resistor, type resistor here. Here we can see that different types of resistors are going to appear in this list. We need a generic resistor symbol. Just double click on it. That is going to add it in this list. Likewise, we also need a capacitor. A capacitor here we need one is of electrolytic and one more is of ceramic that is non-electrolytic. We have to select both here. First I will select generic non-electric capacitor and, now, and one more generic electrolytic capacitor. We need both the type of capacitor here. Once we select this, we also need a LED to observe the output type LED here. The different types of LEDs are available, but I will select here the animated blue LED. Just double click on it and that is added in the list. We also need a DC voltage source, hence type DC source here. Once we type DC source, here we have to select the V source, just double click on it and that is going to add it in this list. Once we select the required component, click on OK. Now it's time to build a circuit. I will take the timer here and I will rotate this for the sake of convenience. And now I will connect the capacitor, resistor. Accordingly, first I will take the resistor. And one electrolytic capacitor here. Uh, rotate this. Keep it in appropriate fashion so that it looks good. Now I will make the connection. Before making the connection, we have to change its value. I will make R1 as 4.7K and R2 will keep it as 10K. Let's rotate this capacitor. We have to change the capacitor value as instead of 1 microfarad, I will make it as 10 microfarad and I will connect these capacitors and resistors together. We need a DC source. I will take this DC source here. As per circuit diagram, the pin number 4 is connected to positive of this and pin number 8 is also connected to pin number 4. We need ground pin here. Select the ground and the negative has to connect to the ground. Now, as per circuit diagram, this R1 is connected to pin number 4 and 8 and between these point sub pin number 7 must be connected here the pin number 7 must be connected between R1 and R2 and pin number 2 and 6 should be connected it should be connected to pin number 2 and 6 should be connected to R2 and the capacitor negative should be given to ground. Capacitor negative should be given to ground. And one more important thing we have to connect pin number 5 and 1 to the capacitor. Just go to component mode. Here we have to select the non-electrolytic capacitor. 
one point is connected to pin number five and another point is connected to pin number pin number one and pin number one must be connected to ground i will connect it to ground and i will connect the led at the output so that we can observe the the blinking of led as per the square wave here the led is a led is connected to pin number 3 and one more end the cathode is connected to ground now i will run this once we run this we can observe that led is start blinking before we run this we have to change its the voltage make it as 5 volt here if you give 1 volt it this circuit won't work and we have to change its capacitor value as 0 0.01 microfarad 0 0.01 microfarad click ok now run this here you can see that the blinking of led in order to observe the waveform stop this simulation go to in virtual instrument mode go to oscilloscope and connect channel a to the pin number 3 here we can observe both the blinking of led as well as the waveform set this timing appropriately here we can see that set this voltage range here we can see that the led is blinking along with this square wave when we get t on this led is on when we get t off hence led is off in this way using triple five timer we construct a stable multi vibrator it, the a stable multi vibrator is a circuit which gives continuous square wave friends in order to get continuous updates of these kind of technical videos job updates and scholarship please like and subscribe our channel thank you